In this video, we'll demonstrate how to install the Handshow Starlink full width strip tail light for your Tesla Model Y. This is also available for the Tesla Model 3. And if you're interested in a tail light bar, this version do not require you to replace your tail lights. It is an addition to your tail light that make it a seamless look, almost an OEM look to your Tesla Model Y. So the and kit comes with this fish wire, pry tool, some electrical tape, and some replacement clips. This is the light strip bar itself. This is a Starlink, very thin. So not as thick as the Cyber Inspire Tell Light wide strip bar that they have, but this might be a solution because for those that don't want to pay the premium price but want the light bar and still keep your OEM, this is how you do it. And this one here is a wire connected to to your inner light. First, what you want to do is remove these trim on the bottom of the front here. First, remove this upper trim. And this is for the model Y. Then there's two clips on each side. Remove those. And there is a wire you need to disconnect, so don't let it fully drop. So it's this white wire here. So what you want to do next is unplug this light here for your license plate, one on each side, okay? And then in between it, there's a plug for your camera. Unplug that. Again, make sure your vehicle is off, and then you can push out the lights and the camera before you hear the bar light. Then you wanna remove the bolt for the inner tail light with the 8.5 by 16. and you need to pop out the inner tail light of the Model Y and 3. But before you do that, make sure you unplug it. To remove the inner tail light, simply after you take out the eight and a half by 16 bolt or nut, uh, get a pry tool. There's two clips on each side. So their pry tool that came with the kit works really well. You wanna angle in just like that. And then pop it open. Remove this light, this camera housing. This is actually the hand show rear live rear mirror camera, and this other light here as well. So you pop this open from the other side after you unplug it. So back here, there's two light, one on each side. This is above the license plate, and there's actually two plugs back here. This is a camera light, and this is the power open switch plug. This you pull, you pull this gray tab out and then it comes off. This camera is a little tricky. So what you wanna do is push this red tab, pull it back out towards the front of the car. And then you have to press right here behind the red lock and pull it out simultaneously. Now you have all four plug disconnected from the top housing of the license plate. Now you can pry open by clipping in these clips and it pops out. And then this comes off really easy. So basically you pry from the inside out, you push out the opposite side of this. So you push this side out and it will come off. Same for the right side. 
And this center piece here is a little tricky, so you need a ply tool to squeeze the metal housing clip on the other side. You see that? You need a plier, clip that together, and have somebody or make sure you catch it from the other side. Same thing on this side. So there's two clips holding those back. And then it pops right out. Now you can go ahead and place the hand show light bar underneath. Clean the surface off with isopropyl no or 70% um, alcohol first. Okay, so cleaning the surface on the bottom here, this is where it will adhere to. Make sure this is completely clean. So the best way before you put this light bar, Starlink light bar, it has one wire. You run it through this hole here. Okay. So this is the right side and this will give it power and also be able to give it its indicator. Okay, so once you have the tail light on, now move this around. Don't adhere this side yet. Just adhere the centerpiece first. Once you close the trunk later, you can adjust it accordingly. Next, I'm gonna do is clean the inner tail light since I haven't done that yet. So I'm gonna clean the bottom and on top. All right. So this is a slot for the wires to hide behind this starlight bar. Okay, once you have it lined up, touching the edge of each of the inner lights. And you actually can just take off this film protection for the lens itself. So give it a good press with a microfiber cloth. And then after that, it's really plug and play behind the scene. And then you place this back on, but place it on this actual a light bar right here. So there's a clip for both sides, even the lights and lights. So we'll just put it back in reverse order. Now go ahead and plug everything back. And then you run the extension wire, fish it through there, runs along the trim here. So one side go to one tail light on the left side. So this is unplugged from the tail light here. This is the hand show U loop. Plug this in. This is one sided uh, insert, so you can't mess it up. And then just press in. And then now take the hand show plug and plug it into this here. Part. And again, pull this plug out of this left tail light. Use the hand show U loop, plug it in. Okay, once you click, and then insert this into the actual tail light itself. So this is the hand show U tube plug. And this is how it looks like. Very bright, as bright as the OEM tail light. So this will look good, especially doing the full loop, just like the Model S and X. And it also acts as a indicator too. So you can either not do that by cutting the yellow wire or you can leave it. And when you start the vehicle, it has this animation. So very cool animation to take a look at. Very similar to that of their wide strip tail light full replacement. So this on camera, the brightness looks identical to the OEM tail lights, which is a good thing. And it is not brighter or less brighter. This is as bright as the OEM tail light, as you can see here. And again, you want to line it up as closely to the bottom of the right and left tail light for the inner tail light 
so it looks like a seamless install. And when your hazard light goes on, both sides indicate turns on. Left side, this is how it looks like with the left hand turn signal. And then if you do the right side, it will be identical, but just flashing towards right. It is sequential, so it matches that of the pilot light or the F1 light if you have the Model Y. So it does look better with the red indicator, or you can have the orange and red, it should be fine. It's really hard to distinguish when they're flashing that close together. So if you step on the brake, it does go on as well. While your daytime running lights is just on and your parking lights is off. So here it is with the lights, parking lights on and the indicator on. And your hazard light. And of course, if you step on the brake, it brightens up even when your, your parking light is on. If your parking light is off, it will stay off, but when you step on the brake, it will turn on, which improves safety, especially if somebody is tailgating you or not paying attention. If you're in a panic stop or there's traffic head, this will actually be bright enough to slow the vehicle down behind you. And in reverse, nothing changed. Again, when you step on the brake lights, it brightens up. Once you let go of the brake light, it turns off. Again, the animation only turns on when you first start your car or when you first turn on the lights. So if you're interested in this product, again, this is an easy install. Check them out, link in the description of this video, also with a promo code. And side by side next to a Tesla with the OEM lights without the Starlink light bar. You can see the, the difference there. Again, identical brightness, but now you have a seamless round tail light, just like the Model S. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe. Catch you on next time.